Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is Asim, and today we will discuss uh, model verbs. Uh, we will discuss the usage usage of uh, model verbs, and we have already explained the and uh, defined the model verbs and also other types of verb. And if you want to watch that video, so the link is in description. You can click it and watch that video, so you will be able to after watching that video then you can learn what are what are model verbs so in today's video we will talk about the usage of model verbs uh, there are plenty of model verbs and each has many uh, function so today we will discuss one by one so let's begin the first one is um, uh, can we use can it's a model verb and we use it has three function in english grammar the first one is ability permission offers ability means whenever some some one can do something so for that we use can which express ability for example julie can swim now julie can swim swimming is the ability of julie so here we use we have used can which express julie's uh, ability ability as swimming so in this way you can use to express uh, ability we use can for another function of can is permission what is how it is used for permission for example can I come with you? So here, if you uh, can see that here, can I come with you? It means we are, we wanted to know that uh, am I allowed or not? So here, can I come with you? I come with you. It expresses an expression uh, permission that can I I'm allowed to be uh, accompanied by you or not? So here we use can for permission. Similarly, offers we use can for offer as well can i help you now i am offering my help my assistance to uh, him or her that can i help you so here we also used can so you can see that can and one thing more that uh, can is formal informal <coughs> it is informal and if you want to use formal ones so you may use could now we will talk about could it has also three uh, functions in english grammar the first one is possibility Past ability and permission. Possibility means uh, that something may be happened. It's possibility. Matlab ke aap jo hai kuch ho sakta hai. Abhi aap apna jo ek uh, estimate ke sakte hai. Ke whenever you are estimating something, your possibility that we use code for that. For example, the story could be true. Who knows? For example, look. I'm just. I don't know that uh, the story could be true or not. But I'm just predicting that maybe it is true. Who knows? No one knows. So for possibility for prediction we use uh, code and code is the formal one you know you will come to know this very soon after this one past ability past ability it means that time ago that he or she can do something but now they can't do now so for that we also use code Ali could swim when he was 10 so here again swim and Ali could swim Ali could swim so here it expresses um, past and could is also the second form of uh, can. So here it expresses that Ali could swim. It means in the past he was able to swim. But now, but when he was 10, but when he, he was 10, it means at the age of 10 he was able to swim. But now he can't do any swimming. And the third one is permission. Permission. Could I help you? Permission. Uh, that's sorry. That's why it's offer and for permission. Uh, could I take your pencil? We also use so here we also use permission. Could also is used for permission while uh, can is also used for permission. But the main difference is this is informal while this is formal. So in this way you can use uh, can or could. Now we will talk about may and might. Now we will describe may and might. What are may and might? Both are model auxiliary verbs and it has only two functions: possibility and permission. The prime possibility the prime minister may visit our office. So now we are just predicting that he may come or may not come. We are not sure. But from possibility in May, May has a uh, seventy percent chance, while well, May has only thirty percent chance of action to be happened. So possibility we use always May predicts future. So for that to work out, will and shall we use May? Also we use for permission. Permission. May I borrow your dictionary? Now we are taking permission that can I take your, uh, may I take your uh, dictionary? So it means that uh, we can also use may for permission. Uh, the second form of uh, may is might. And might has only 30% chance uh, to action for action to be happen. And it has 70% chance. 
so it has only one function that it shows slight possibility the action that has only 30 percent chance if that's why we i've used uh, slight we might win but i doubt it now you can see from this example that example is we might win we might win but i doubt it now doubt completely describes the function of might it means he or she is not sure that we will win so in this way you can use may and might now we'll talk about the short and odd too so should and could should and could both have the same functions in english grammar but uh, should is formal while ought to is informal so that's why you may find you can find should a lot in english grammar books novels all type of function non-function books while ought to is slightly and very lightly is, is used and uh, written and spoken english as well so what is should should has two functions in english grammar advice and logical deduction what is logical deduction you can easily you will learn from uh, example you should take an umbrella in case it rains now we are giving an advice that you uh, should take an umbrella so if it rains so then you will be uh, covered you can cover yourself with umbrella similarly for logical deduction i have revised so i should take a test now logical deduction it means that you are giving conditions so it means he has revised again for the first time maybe he has taken the test but for the first time he failed or he uh, didn't it wasn't well so it means that i have revised now he is giving condition i have revised so i should take a test now condition is given so i should take a test so in this way logical deduction is used with short should now r2 r2 is informal it is also same function uh, advice in logical deduction you are to write to your uh, grandmother it means that uh, advice you are to a friend or someone is giving advice it means that you are to write a letter to your grandmother similarly 30 dollar ought to be enough for taxi it means the logical deduction 30 dollar they have fixed a condition that 30 dollar is enough for a taxi fare so that was all about the model words and if you have any kind of problem any type of question related to this topic you can write in comment section and if you are new on our channel so you must subscribe our channel for get, to get notification of further similar informative videos take care of yourself next week meet you next video allah Hafiz.